it's getting kind of tight. You know, what we thought was this fairly defined picture is actually getting muddy as hell recently. So I'm just going to fire you some uh, teams and you give me a quick buy or sell and then like a one line explanation for, you know, why you're buying or selling them. Uh, so let's start with the Joe Flacco led Cleveland Browns. I'm buying. I'm buying. They obviously, you know, are in this division with Pittsburgh, who's now lost two games in a row to horrible teams. Uh, and this is going to be a big part of it. The schedule here, you probably get a C.J. Beathard, which is huge, I think, instead of a Trevor Lawrence. And then you have Bears, Texans, Jets, Bengals. So I- I'm buying the Joe Flacco Browns, not just because Sobchak was going to kick me off the stream if I if I didn't say that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, that's two teams within the same division. So the rookie head coach and quarterback led Houston Texans. Will they be the first team to make the playoffs since the 2012 Andrew Luck, Chuck Pagano, uh, Indianapolis Colts. Yep, I'm buying here as well. I think they'll beat out the Colts. They might even still have a, a path to the division, depending on Lawrence's injury. They have Jets, Titans, Browns, Titans, Colts. I mean, they could win all those games. So then the Indianapolis Colts are the next team to buy and sell. The third team actually in a playoff position right now, buying or selling. I have to sell because I just bought the first two. I do think they very well could sneak in. There's no question about it. But um, a little bit tougher schedule going forward. Um, you know, have Pittsburgh going to do or die? Atlanta's probably going to need to be winning some games. I mentioned the head-to-head with Houston. You know, at Cincy looked like an easy game, and then Jake Browning went nuclear. So mm. I guess I'm selling, but I do like the Colts and, and what they're building there. All right. So if the Colts are the team dropping out, <clears throat> let me see if I can find the team that's jumping in. Buffalo Bills at 6-6 six and six with a – pretty do or die game for themselves this week are we buying or selling the bills playoff aspirations do or die maybe not the best way to put it uh given given light of recent recent events uh (laughs) you made the first joke and now i had had to make the second one so uh yeah i think they're gonna find a way i've decided they're gonna beat kansas city this weekend um which you know again all jokes aside maybe there is way too much chaos and 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 just you know disruption going on in that building distractions etc not even just the McDermott thing. They, they lost the bye week. We make jokes about winning and losing the bye week. They lost the bye week in every way, shape, or form. Um, but anyway, I think they're going to sneak in. They're going to get it as a seven seed and be a team that no one wants to play. All right, the Minnesota Vikings in the NFC. Six and six, currently occupying the sixth seed, still ahead of the Green Bay Packers. Uh, coming off their bye, Justin Jefferson returns. Josh Dobbs stays as the number one QB there in Minnesota. Are the Vikings actually going to make the playoffs? I'm going to sell here. You mentioned the Green Bay Packers. They are going to be a buy when we get to that one. Um, Bit of a tougher road for Minnesota going forward. You know, at Raiders, at Bengals, winnable games, no question. But two more games against Detroit and a game against Green Bay. Uh, And I'm going to say that the division, they're going to lose three straight to close out the year against the division. And that kicks them out. Oof, brutal. Um, Well, I'll skip over Green Bay since you're apparently buying them anyway. uh, Let me jump uh, up to an actual division leader, though. Because the Atlanta Falcons are just six and six, but that is currently putting them in the playoffs. Are we buying or selling the Falcons making the postseason? Yeah, they will because they're going to win the worst <laughs> division I can remember in a very long time. All right. Uh, so the Vikings are dropping out. Who is jumping uh, in? Let's start with let's start with the Los Angeles Rams. That team is six and six. Um, and I have a quarterback balling out. Like Matthew Stafford is playing some of the best football of his career. Are the Rams somehow actually going to make the postseason this year? That's my buy. That's my jump. Yep. We uh, this weekend's interesting. Horrific weather in that Ravens game, which I would say probably helps Baltimore even more. I don't like the matchup for the Rams regardless. Uh, but then you get Commander Saints, Giants, and Week 18 San Fran is super interesting. Will that game matter for the 49ers? If it doesn't, will they still want to beat a division rival in the Rams? That could maybe be a swing outcome. But, yeah, this was who I wanted to get in there. I think they're just they're playing good ball, like you said. Stafford's playing very well. I think Raheem Morris has done a great job with the defensive talent that he has. I think they're going to find a way in. 